a new clue in the search for two fishermen lost at sea who disappeared off the coast of Nantucket last night. State police now say sonar has detected what they believe is the boat at the bottom of the ocean. Tonight, rough seas force rescuers to suspend the search. And tonight, Julie McDonald is in New Bedford where the Misty Blue is based. Well, the Coast Guard now says that until they have new information, they're suspending their search, which spanned more than 1,600 square nautical miles. Everyone's pretty somber right now. There's always hope. The South Coast fishing community praying for a miracle as two fishermen remain lost at sea. I and mean, we've had a, a quite emotional day down there at the dock today. Families and friends of Michael Roberts and Jonathan Sareva are growing desperate for more information about the final moments before their vessel sank. The Misty Blue left Fairhaven Saturday night and went down about 6:30 Monday evening. I mean, he could have been getting things ready. The other guys were suiting up. I don't have the details. I don't know. Two other crew members, Captain Eric Arabian and Colby McMullen, were saved by a nearby boat. But the Misty Blue's life raft was found without crewmen inside. Everything's up to date. The boat was in great shape. Roberts was reportedly unable to swim. Still, longtime friends are holding out hope for his safe return. It's a sad day. Very sad day. Good friend. He'll give you the shirt off his back if he has to. Weather conditions so far have prevented state police divers from reaching that object believed to be the sunken vessel. They plan to return to that area on Thursday. In New Bedford, Julie McDonald, WBZ News.